Hello, everyone. Thank you all for being here. My name is Ye Xianfeng from the National Taiwan University. And uh, the topic to be introduced today is code verification of strong color and weak beam. This is online. First of all, we will explain the concept of strong columns and weak beams. Here, there are two patterns of failure mechanism below. The first one is story mechanism, and the second one is beam mechanism. In seismic design, we hope that the structure can have large deformation to dissipate energy, but not lead to collapse when the earthquake comes. So, the best failure mode of a structure is beam mechanism. Its behavior will satisfy the concept of strong columns and weak beams. Therefore, we assemble some characteristics of this concept. The first one reduce the likelihood of yielding in columns. Second one, minimum flexural strength of columns. Third one, avoid the structure to collapse. Secondly, we will review this code. ACI318-14, minimum flexural strength of columns. The flexural strength of columns shall satisfy this inequality. That is, the sum of the nominal strength of colors should be larger than or be equal to 6 over 5 times the sum of the nominal facial strength of beans. And we illustrate this equation as figure below. The first one is the friends west to the right, and the second one is the friends west to the left. And due to the positive and the negative L and B are usually not the same, so we need to consider both of it. Follow the ACI code. If we follow the ACI code to establish the E test model, we found that the results are all beam mechanism, beam mechanism, one flow structure or two flow structure. Thirdly, check moment capacity. We will verify whether the specification is conservative. So we ask this question, whether the code referred to 1.2 times is enough. In previous ETEP example, we know that the 1.2 times is not enough. So. Here is an example, and there are some structural descriptions. And uh, among them, the most important thing is that we assume V shear larger than V flasher. That is no shear failure. And there are also some dimensional descriptions. In order to satisfy the code, we design facial strengths of beam and colors. Check mechanism. Based on the previous assumption, we want to know which failure mode will happen. So the ideal situation is no story mechanism. In here, we take out one of the frame colors as free body and we use the direct moment equilibrium to get the best shear V by take moment equilibrium about point D. Check moment capacity. We found that the MC first forward at the top larger than MNC so it occurs flash of failure at top of color. So the failure mode is a story mechanism, not good. 
Therefore, we verify that the color of first flow occurred story mechanism before the beam mechanism takes place. Fourthly, we will derive facial stress ratio of colors to beams. Modify the factor. In here, we carry out the same analysis and we assume this equation to satisfy the code. And similarly, we also use the direct moment equilibrium to get the best shear V. And re we require that the MC filter flow at top smaller than MNC. In this way, the failure mode of the structure will become beam mechanism. And from this inequality, we get the amplification alpha larger than 1.5 to satisfy this code. Verify the result. If we take alpha equal to 1.6 larger than 1.5, which we derive, we found that the MC first of all is top at MC2F at the bottom smaller than MNC. So the results are all beam mechanism. Extend the cast to N's flow. We sum up the steps to find the amplification alpha in different flow. So here, here are some steps. The step one is choose the controlled mechanism. We use the direct moment equilibrium to get the best shear V. And step, step two, we set the inequality to ensure no story mechanism. We hope that no plastic hinge occurs at both ends of colors. And the step three, finally, we will get the amplification factor alpha. Ratio of MNC to MNB for 1 to 5 floors. We induce the results into this table. From this table, we found that if alpha smaller than alpha 1, the red circle, it shows that the first floor is story mechanism. And another case, if alpha larger than alpha i, this is the green circle. It shows that the ice flow and its lower flow are all beam mechanism. Beam mechanism. And among them, the alpha sub i is no fracture hinge occurs at the top of color of ice flow. Verification. Furthermore, we will use the software called ETIPS to verify our derivation. Pushover analysis by ETIPS. We perform a linear pushover analysis. And here is an example of story mechanism showed in ETIPS. So we verify the result. The figure is the one floor structure with alpha equal to 1.2. And uh, this is the value of SDI code. And in ETEP, we found that the result is story mechanism at the first floor. And from the table, we also get the same result because alpha smaller than alpha 1. And, uh, and uh, it's that is the one flow structure. So the result is story mechanism. It's consistent with the ethers. And similarly, if we take alpha equal to 2.2 .2 from this table, alpha larger than alpha 1. So the result is beam mechanism. And uh, if the structure is two flower. 
and uh, we take alpha equal to 1.2 that is the ACI code and from the table alpha smaller than alpha 1 so it shows that the structure is storing mechanism at first floor if we take alpha equal to 2.2 .2 and larger than alpha 2 so the second floor and the first floor are all beam mechanism if we take one alpha equal to 1.65 that is between alpha 1 and alpha 2 so if alpha larger than alpha 1 the first floor is is beam mechanism and also the alpha smaller than alpha 2 so the alpha 2 is the story mechanism here the exact result is consistent with this table finally we will give some recommendation and conclusion first one from the previous example we know that follow the ACI code is insufficient so in this paper we recommend the larger of our eye to make sure hinge occurs at beam ends firstly and finally the similar concept that is uh, direct moment equilibrium is able to extend the cast to higher floor this is our reference this is all my presentation thanks for your listening